On? On. On. Welcome to CCO Pre-Show for episode 451. 451? Yes, sir. Holy shit. Yes, sir. Brought to you by the wonderful patrons at patreon.com slash CCO Podcast. Whether they like it or not. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, we're here. Yes. We have a deck that we asked for. Glarb. And- <laughs> It's Glarb. I'm really excited to talk about Glarb today. We're getting Glarbed up in this bitch. Yeah. It's a fun it's fun to say you say it. Glarb. Gary, you say it. Glarb. See? It's there fun. we go. Big it's thanks. Fun. Uh big thanks to producer Gary. He's burning the candle at two ends, hey, because we're recording late at night. Cause he has something, or you have something, or I have something. I'm not sure. It's me. It's My mom's birthday. Yep. Oh. Gary's mom's birthday. Frick. Hey, that's okay. And you're going to cruise weekend? Yeah. I'm you can to, come, by the way. I'm going to see my mom at the frickin' lake for my yearly visit to their place at the lake. What lake is it? Uh, Jackfish. Jackfish. I... <laughs> Sounds made up. I fucking hate going to the lake. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're like the only person on the planet. I am not a lake person. Oh, I'm dude. I'm not. I'm going to blow everybody's mind who doesn't already know this. Okay. But you not liking going to the lake and being the only person on the planet who doesn't like going to the lake right. is like me not liking garlic. Yeah. Yeah. And people are going to comment like, what? What the what? You have no soul? I knew you were a fucking vampire. Yeah. 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 It's weird. Like, I just, I don't get it. Like, there's... There's bugs everywhere, and I always get a sunburn. Mm. Like, not on my whole body, but, like, on the one random spot that I forgot to, <laughs> to put the sunscreen. Like, yes. one time I burned the tops of my feet, or I burned my nose, or, like, the inside of my arm right here, or, like, above my, like, I wear such long shorts now because sometimes the shorts go above your knee, and I forget to put mm. it there because my pants Yeah, are the thigh, some, yeah. Right? And he's, oh! Hey, hey. It's just, it's uncomfortable, and, like, there's so many people that are like, oh, Brando's here, let's hang out, and it's like, god damn it. God damn it. Like, when we go to events, it's like, man, I don't see these people, like, not two times a year. This is amazing. I get to hang out with all these people who are my homies. But it's and playing magic inside you, frickin' nerd. Yeah, and now it's, like, fucking lake people, and they're like, oh, <laughs> let's... Go back a minute to um, oh. to sunscreen. Of applying sunscreen, this is what I would say to you. First time? Yeah, I never. When I was a kid, I never used to wear sunscreen, and then I had that spray-on stuff. Yes, best then, invention I think in the last fifteen years yeah, I, or twenty years is aerosol sunscreen. And super appreciate that, but now I don't own any, and just like because I put myself in a position where I need it so little, mm. I haven't procured any yet. So like I just kind of use whatever is available, and here we are. Yeah, I, I feel you. Were, you. were we doing the hey, show? Oh, that, oh, oh, do you think at oh. the lake? You are going to see any Glarb-esque creatures? Oh, I hope so. I really like frogs. Yes. I think that they're really neat and they're fun. And if I see where they live, I'll go and watch them because they're fun to... You ever catch them? You ever go frog catching at the lake? When I was a little kid, I used to go catch frogs. But now I feel like, I don't know, it's kind of mean. Well, if you catch them and let them go. Well, you do. But like, what if you, I don't know, like you carry them around and show them to everybody. And like, now they're all freaked out because they've seen they've been outside the matrix and oh yeah that's right there's just no going back (laughs) the frogs are like oh god exists and they're terrible god exists and they have salty hands (laughs) (laughs) can't put the toothpaste back in the tube right you just can't yeah yeah those frogs are fucked for life they need therapy and they have existential crises and they freaking think that the government's out to get them they stop getting vaccines (laughs) 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 <laughs> frog therapists, yeah. Hey, uh, my, um, I went to school with a guy who's a frog therapist now. It's kind of like uh, having a therapy dog, but except you're a frog and you're a therapist and not a dog. There's no dogs involved. And what? No, and no therapist. You went to school with a frog who's a therapy? He's a therapy frog now. What the hell? I'm making shit up. Oh man. I'm trying to keep us on Glarb because you were so pumped to get this deck and now we've got not only a deck that you were pumped to get because it's Glarb and it's Glarb. a frog and you're going to build 
not this deck, but a Glarb deck. I will eventually. Well, I tried building Glarb, and it turned into... You got Glarb block. Bobo MacGuffin from last episode. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. I was going to make a joke about Garb... What's his name? Glarb block. Glarb. And, and said, if you have a Glarb for more than three hours, see your doctor. Well, yeah. I'm or is that a Chub Toad? That's a Chub Toad. Oh, yeah. Yep. Chub Toad with arm hanging out for more than three hours, see your doctor. So my Glarb went into a Traxa. So mm. I can play pre off the top of my library. Glarb Draxa. Because that's what we need is more access to that kind of bullshit. Oh, if you, yeah, it's like if you have a Traxa Glarb, it almost sounds like a Traxa, like the end of that kind of sounds like it could be like kind of Inception-y sounding. Glarb Traxa. Glarbception. Yeah. I like Glarb, he's cool. Oh, I was going to say. It's like saying the name yeah, Glarb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well... You've got a Glarb deck to talk about, and you said, here's the deck we're doing. Here's the one. I was yeah. very excited when it came in. And when I looked at it and saw the title of it and what the deck is about, I got excited about it because yeah. it's it has the potential, like so many commanders do these days, to combo. Yes. And it's in blue and black, a color combination that I've really um, found a liking for in the last year of playing Magic. I built like a, like a Demir deck, and I really like it, and it has the ability to take a bunch of turns in a row, draw your whole deck, the whole stuff, right? Right. Without going infinite. It does all the... I mean, if you draw your whole deck, it kind of has to be infinite because if you don't I win, suppose. you lose. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Like, well, it's 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 like uh, Peer into the Abyss. Draw half your deck two or three times. You don't ever get your whole deck. Right. But you get enough to get like a, a Dream Halls into like discard a blue card to play a Time Stretch and then discard a blue card to play a Time Warp, discard a blue card to play a... Another turn spell, right? Does that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's not what this deck does, but it is a combo deck. And I'm excited to talk about it because not only is it a combo deck, it's actually quite a, like an affordable, very value-based deck. With lots of neat stuff that you could probably play elsewhere if you ever get tired of doing this, which you probably won't. Because it's a, it's a, it's a pretty fun deck. Yeah. I, I think anyway, I think I, it'd be new. looking at it. Yeah. Even though it's on deckstats.net. Oh yeah. Uh, come on. I think it's still going to be a fun deck to play from what I can tell based on trying to look through the piss poor navigational capability of this website. Yeah. The only thing I worry about with non-deterministic combos, like the ones in this deck where you have to like surveil, 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 and then like infinitely bounce creatures to, to get some effect is it's not instantaneous when like some combos are right and then you run into the problem of a 10 minute turn that you might not win on and that doesn't seem like a ton of fun unless you know you're going to win and then you do that a whole bunch of times and like many combo decks for experienced players they end up coming apart because you're like oh i've done this enough i've kind of i've kind of got my rocks off to this combo enough yeah, times that, that works, uh, yeah. I, I don't need it anymore and and then you take it apart it does play one of my most favoritist combos. Oh, well, don't yeah. spoil it. I, I won't we'll spoil talk it. about it. We'll talk about and, it tomorrow. And I'm I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that, that they don't know that they do <gasps> so that I'm informing them of a Ooh. thing because maybe that's a thing. Probably not. They probably know because why else would this creature be in the deck? It's because it does the thing. Uh, and and newsflash, it's not Brash Taunter because Glarb is black and green and blue. Alas. No red. Yeah, Man. that's right. Well, Can you imagine if you had a Glarb Taunter deck? Oh. oh, if Brash Taunter was a frog. You can't even play Brash Taunter in your Atraxa deck where your Glarb is. I know. You ever yeah. been good at magic before? No. Oh, fuck me neither. No, that's why I'm in CCO Nation, baby. <laughs> I'm among my people. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. It's very good. I suppose, yeah. I suppose. Well, hey, listen, we have, uh, for the next couple weeks, a Patreon supporter selected to be the winner of the booster pack game just as a benefit to uh, supporting us and being part of the nation in that way we did have guessers from last week that were like i'm guessing anyways even yeah, if i don't win um so maybe maybe we'll have to figure something out but last week's patreon winner you can get a booster pack of magic cards uh mm. a cco token pack ah. which i owe to Corey. so you're gonna have to remind me okay or CCO sticker pack. Ah. ah, very good. And last week's winner is Jared McLean or McLean. That's McLean for sure. McLean. 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 He's McLean. probably bald okay. like Mr. Clean. Probably is. only where it counts. Yeah. He sh he shaves it so he. What? Sh shaves his head. He's bald, so he looks taller. Totally what I was gonna say. <laughs> Is that true? No. Do you look taller if you're bald? Is that like a thing? Is that like an uh, optical? Like? I think I think you shave your head when you're losing your hair, so you don't 
so people don't know that you have male pattern baldness, but everybody knows if they see a, like a bald guy in his like late thirties, yeah, that guy's going bald. He's just shaving his head. Huh? Yeah. It's the sad reality of, of it all. That's, uh, that's too bad. But, uh, Jared McLean, commander cook at gmail.com. Let us know that you won. Let us know your address so I don't have to look it up. That makes it simple for me. Correct. And we'll send you your prize. We would appreciate it very much. Remember, you got to send us the full address or it doesn't count. Yeah, because then I have to look it up anyway. Yeah. yeah, he's not going to though. Yeah. Yeah. What are we going to give for the people who want to guess? Here's what people have to guess. Okay. They have to guess your preferred Glarb art. Do you like the handsome, sexy, sitting in a chair Glarb? Mm. The Tinder profile picture Glarb, if you will? Or the Glarb that shows up to the date, which is just totally cracked out and insane. <laughs> and so you have to pick which one is Ryan's favorite and why. That's I, what we're guessing. I don't know which one's my favorite You right told now. me which one was your favorite before we started the show. That's why it's the hint, because I know the answer. Oh. Yeah. Yes, 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 I did. Freaking God. Yeah. I don't know which one's my what favorite. What is it? Dude. Is DDO podcast with freaking... Dian and Dando? Brian, Brian and Randall? Yeah. Dying and Dando? I what forgot. the hell am I thinking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? Man. Dying and Dando. Well, we're here. <sighs> We've got a Glarb list. Glarb. Big thanks to everybody who sent it in. Um, what else do we got to cover? What? W- anything else? No, we got Glarb. <sighs> what more do you need besides Glarb, You know what we dude? don't have is we, we've got our stunt beers, but we don't have studio beers. Yeah, and it's Friday yeah. night. And it's Friday night, and me and you and frickin' producer Gary are sitting in the sweaty booth yeah. in whatever butthole town we're in today, yeah. and like Finger Hole or Finger Blast Street or wherever we are that I find that we are, yeah. and we don't even have any frickin' beer. What do we? We gotta put the screws to Gary. What are we doing with our lives? I don't know. What's the point? Like if of it was this? like a Tuesday night, it'd be fine. No, it wouldn't be. Oh, because now we're working on a Tuesday night. And oh, now yeah. we're working on a Friday night. You ever notice when you say working on a day, night? Like, we d- should be beer here. Yeah. Yep. You know what? So Nothing we'll... is perfect. Everything is a work in progress. You can always get better. You can always get stronger. You can always get more better at what you're doing. More better, and including at uh, speaking English. We're going to go speak English on Commander Cookout 451. We're going to do a Glarb combo deck. Mm -hmm. Uh, We might just end up drinking the stunt beers. I can't make any promises that that won't happen. Hit our theme song. Burr, burr.